Hi, I'm Long Island Aquarium and DNA LC educator and entomologist Jeff Petraka. And I'm here today at Comset State Park on Long Island. And we're walking through the woods here and we came across some pretty a pretty cool site and I wanted to kind of talk about these guys a little bit. Now there's been a lot of talk in the media lately about murder hornets, right? Japanese hornets, which I'm not going to talk about here, but what I wanted to point out is that most bees and wasps are totally harmless to humans and should be left alone. So right here we have essentially a nuptial flight of carpenter bees and you can see them all essentially flittering around and going back and forth and uh, fighting with one another here. You can hear the buzzing probably in the background. There are tons of these bees here. And so these are those big gigantic bees that you often see hovering around your homes um, possibly. And these guys are basically harmless. You'd have to essentially catch them and hold them in your hand for them to sting you. And by the way, only females can sting, uh, not the males, which is the case with all bees and wasps. Only females, if they can sting, uh, will uh, sting, not males. But carpenter bees are pretty special. So these guys are essentially boys fighting over uh, girls right now. It's pretty cool. And these guys will eventually, <laughs> there they go, look at all of them. Uh, they're eventually going to mate and the males will basically die off. And when they're ready, they will dig little holes or chew little holes into wood. And so that's what these little circles are right here. These are possibly uh, exit holes. Oh, sorry, there we go. Possibly exit holes for these carpenter bees. And so multiple bees can actually share the same entrance hole in a piece of wood. And uh, inside, what they'll do is they'll essentially lay eggs. You can actually see one uh, just went in there. Let's see if she'll come back out. I don't think she will. Um, but anyway, so multiple bees will share the same holes often, but they'll essentially collect pollen and nectar just like other bees. And uh, they'll lay an egg uh, on that pollen inside of the wood. And then their larva will develop into uh, adult bees. Pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm sitting here literally amongst the bees and they're doing no damage to me whatsoever. Thanks for watching and check us out for more cool content on DNA LC Live.